Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play Mass Effect Trilogy. In the last episode, oh my god, these people never shut up. Sat back while we bled and get some payback. Yeah, that's a great plan. Follow war with more war. Yeah, that's a good point. War followed up by more war. Yeah. Anyway, uh, these people, like, they always talk when you go through that door. Commander, Admiral Hackett is available in the war room on VidCon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's really no point to talk to Hackett, though. I mean, he doesn't really tell you anything when you can talk to him. You, he just talk, tells you a little bit about the war. So, whatever. Alright, so in the last episode, we did Grimson Academy. And now I have to decide, do I want to do the Citadel or do I want to do Sakesh? I think I'll do the Citadel. I don't know what I want to start up. Do I want to start up Leviathan DLC? I don't want to start Omega because the second you start that, they force you to actually do the entire thing. But I could start up... I probably will go ahead and start up Leviathan and also come to the Citadel as well. So let's do that. So we'll start here and then we'll finish up uh, by doing a little bit of the citadel this is going to be a very long episode probably because there's a lot to do on the citadel the second time you come here it, it feels like a chore that's one reason i don't like doing it but i'll do it it's, it's something that needs to be done anyway i gotta go talk to Caden, and a whole bunch of people do a little aria like there's a lot of little things miranda's here I need to talk to her and of course start up this dlc I really like this DLC, I gotta be honest. I know in my Let's Play of this, I didn't like it, but what you have to realize is that I did not have any sound. I had zero sound in that Let's Play. So I had to read all the dialogue, and this DLC is nothing but dialogue, literally. I want you to match this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley? Could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we can just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location. Now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was... A loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, 
This does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you wanna... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get them over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. Alright guys, so now we get to play Blue's Clues. Don't worry, Detective Obama Shepard has owned the case. That was one of my beefs with this DLC, although I like this DLC a lot. And like I said, in the Let's Play, I act like I really hated it. But I had like no sound, and I still have like no sound, because otherwise my mic's going to pick up all the dialogue from my TV, and it's not going to sound good. So... That's something you have to keep in mind. But when I replayed this DLC and I didn't do the Let's Play, I, I really I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Alright, so let's see if we can find some stuff. Uh, let's see here. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper Killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Okay. Does this tell us where Garneau went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Alright, so we need to find some clues. Let's check this. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the galaxy map program. Alright. So that's one clue. Let's check over here. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. 
Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the law. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Alright, so this one right here, I think you have to look at this first, maybe? By Anne Bryson. Age 9. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? That's right. An interesting hypothesis. But I detect no trace of the decryption key in this... Alright. Art. So, here's our clue. This is another one of these paintings. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right. Let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. All right. I guess we... I think you have to enter this, maybe? On one of these computers? March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rakdai. Their movements during the Rakdai Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong, and Rakdai weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rakdai to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rakdai fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Rakdai ships, it may help us narrow our search. Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Alright, I think we can investigate this. This is actually really funny. Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? <laughs> I thought that was awesome. I guess we have to come over here, maybe? Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Adding the search filter now. Alright. I think there's only a couple left and it's all over here. Don't care about that. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding it now. I think this is the final one right here. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero, would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Doing so now. Alrighty. I think we can also look at this skeleton right here. Loch Ness Monster? Plesiosaur. Loch Ness Monster is more interesting. Interesting and non-existent. Alright, <clears throat> let's go now figure out this galaxy map. Although, maybe I should go... There should be some um, attachments. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so I got that up to four. Although, I never use that. That's great. I'm glad I got that. I just really wish I had the freaking hurricane. Or maybe even... I, I might buy that. Um, you guys tell me. I have 400 Microsoft points. Uh, points. 400 Microsoft points saved up from when I bought the Citadel DLC. I could buy the one of the weapon packs. and whatever, Whichever one gives me like the Harrier and a couple of the other weapons. You tell me. Should I do that? Because I really don't have anything else I can spend these points on. 
So, um, let me know. Do you want me to maybe buy that? Because I, I might buy that, just for the Let's Play anyway. Although I am really happy with the Lancer and stuff. Alright, so for this, I think you need Reaper, Reaper Activities. Activity. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Alright, so we can narrow it down a little bit. I believe Creature Sightings is Alien one? Sightings. Three possibilities. By the way, I already know where it is. It's the one on the right. It's the system we need to go to. Uh, it might be element zero. Let's try element zero. Element zero deposits. Yep, there it is. We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. Alrighty, so that narrows it down to literally the one location. I think I've got everything here for the first trip. But we can always come back and, you know, do all that. Um, we have to come here three times. It's kind of ridiculous. But we're not going to go do Leviathan DLC right this moment. We're going to go finish up the Citadel. Or at least go to the Citadel and do some stuff there. Alright, so I guess we'll just go to Normandy. We'll, or we'll go to the docking bay. And then from there, we can decide what we're going to go. I can't remember. I know I used to know, like, certain patterns, which was, like, the best patterns to really, like, narrow it down quickly. Because I'm trying to remember. I think probably going to the bar first would be a good idea because then I could talk to Arya, get her little, like, um, war asset side mission thing where we have to go talk to all the different mercenary groups. That would have been really dope. I don't know. We'll have to see. And I think from there, then maybe the embassies, because I know there's another one, uh, it's, a, it's Kasumi. I think we can do the Kasumi thing now. We'll just, you know, we'll freelance it and see what happens. Hopefully, though, this is not going to, where, where the fuck am I, okay. Hopefully, this is not going to take uh, 50 minutes to do all this, which it might. Alright, but the beautiful thing is we can go to all these new places now, and because you can go there, you can open up a lot of different little shops, and the shops should sell some attachments that I don't have maxed out yet, and I hopefully will be able to max some of them out, like power magnifier, and maybe high velocity barrel for, I don't think my high velocity barrel is maxed out for my assault rifle, so I definitely want to max that out. Alright. Now arriving at So... I think the only thing here is we can actually look at our map. Yeah, James is here as well, so we can talk to him. A lot of little people are going to be talking. Alright, so let's go talk to Arya. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. 
By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Suns leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Now, we can't talk to her. I might not do that, though, and ask her a whole bunch of questions. In fact, I'm not going to do that. This is going to take up extra time. I know this episode's going to be really long. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I'll ask her some questions later when I come back to her and talk to her. Although, I don't think you have to. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Alrighty. By the way, guys, um, I do not think that, in fact, that's just got proven, um, <laughs> because I didn't get any bad points for that. But yeah, you don't get bad points or renegade points for the little intermissions. So keep that in mind. I've seen comments in a couple of my videos saying, oh, at least you got a lot of good or bad points. By the way, I think they added these in for Leviathan. In fact, I could just take this. No, 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 no. Yeah, they added it in just for Leviathan if you want to go to Dr. Bryson's lab. Alright, so we've done that place. Where's the next? Let's go to the Citadel embassies. One moment, please. I think this is the right order because from here I should be able to get the Kasumi little cameo. Like I said, I love the cameos. I think they're great. I just think it's a shame that we can't if anybody, you should have at least got like Kasumi or somebody. You know what I mean? Like Kasumi would have been dope. 
Because her little cameo is, like, really not a big deal when you think about it. She just kind of pops up for a second. Why can't I just have her come? Now, here's something, too. I would really, really, really appreciate if someone could tell me how the hell to do this. I've never been able to figure out how to do this little, like, um, side mission. I know he disappears, too. This guy disappears, I think, when the Citadel gets attacked. So, please, someone tell me how the hell do I do this? I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Alright, yeah, but I don't know how to do that. I've tried, um... I always thought that, you know, in the Spectre place... Like, you can get certain intel. I thought it would be there or something, but I have no idea, honestly, so... It would be very nice if someone could actually tell me. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Commander Shepard. John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Alright. So, you know, the thing I never understood is that that Solarian is a Spectre. Why couldn't he just come in here and um, do this? Because he's a Spectre. He has access. Hmm. Alright. So, let's enable that. Authorize that, authorize that. I normally just authorize all these things. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? Hold on, let me check this. I think I've bought all these guns. Oh shit, what is this? Anything suspicious in their terminal use should be that, why not? And apparently I never bought the rape from this file. Absolutely. He's a good spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Alright, so now we can also talk to Bailey real quick about this whole situation. 
Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance now, to kill. Now, here's a, another question. I might just do this the bad way, but... Uh, I was a never able to figure out how to do this part the good way. Because I know how to do the other two parts the good way. But this particular part, because this, this chick is really nuts. And... I mean, I don't know. I just never was able to figure that out. And I'm not one for, like, looking up information and going on the social network and trying to see if I can find out how to do it. So maybe someone could comment and let me know. Although I still might do it the bad way. In this episode, we'll just have to see. But yeah, I would really like to know that information. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. All right. I could probably talk to Bailey, too, and get some information out of him. But once again, just like Arya, I don't feel like doing it. There's nobody. Bailey's not, like, major or anything like that. I think that's it. Maybe. Hold on. Let me check this. Yeah, the, t the first term uh, terminal is in here, so I think it's right here. Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What, if I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. I wish you would join up, Christ. <sighs> like I said, I just feel that that's really annoying. Alright, let's go. I think the next one is here? So let's go here anyway. I, yeah, I, I, I kind of remember the pattern to do this the best slash fastest way. Because I think the next terminal here, and then there's like some other stuff we have to do on this area and all that. Believe me, this episode is going to be long though, that's for sure. Now arriving at here it is, yeah. Bow, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying. For the so he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajay. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. Our people high, show the galaxy our resolve. I know that your faith is weak. Our government has fallen, but if you hold the pillars of strength in your hearts, please, just don't give up. Anyway, I think I just pulled um, one of those creeper moments from Shepard where it's like, What are they talking about? The pillar of strength? I can do that. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, check this right here, this Batarian Arms. arms. Uh, it's not really too good. I'll buy that, I guess, for shits and giggles. Anyway, I think Garrus might be... I know Garrus is, I think, somewhere down here. Oh, hey, here's Kelly. What up, Kelly? Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. 
It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore? Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but... I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us. I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and... I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey. It's okay. I'm fine. I just... can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Now here's the thing, guys. If you, um... I don't really know, to be quite honest. But I know if she stays here, she dies. She gets killed. She gets shot in the head. So... To keep her alive, she should probably change her identity, but either way, it's like really whatever. I think I'm gonna tell her to change her identity. Cause Kelly's cool, I guess. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look. Change your name. Get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Yeah, you too. But anyway, if you come back down here after the Cerberus attack, you can hear people talking about Kelly. They say, yeah, Cerberus uh, soldier came up to her and said, are you Kelly Chambers? And she said, yes. And then he shot her in the face. I mean, it's like, what? For real? Holy crap. All right, so I guess Garrus might be over here. I could always look at my little thing. Yeah, here's Let's yours. check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. Keep on. Some of on these that wounded wardrobe? don't have much time. We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. You know, is it me or does that Shepard look nothing like my guy? Hmm. <laughs> that shit looks so stupid. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. God, that shit looks stupid. It's a bald white guy. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Alrighty. Hey guys, I think I'm going to save this real quick because um, I've been doing ninja cuts. 
What that means is I've been cutting it throughout this entire episode, and you guys might not have been knowing that, did you? Ha ha ha. Yeah, I've been doing that as of recent where, like, I'll stand still for a second, cut it, and then take it back, um, or start recording again from that same location. Normally, I save it just in case my computer freezes, I can just reload from that point and continue, but i kind of been forgetting to save it. Alright, here's another terminal over here. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, pal. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. We're already. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? <laughs> we all have our delusions. Alrighty. You know, <clears throat> that's actually really funny to me. Let me check this out. Garrus Terminal. Alright, there's one more terminal here. That's really funny to me, though, how when Shepard puts his, like, fingers to his ears, like he has a communicator or a headset on or something, he has no headset. Like, what? what is it? Like, he has a walkie-talkie or something in his fingers? Like, I don't understand that. I mean, normally, if you are in a mission or something and you have your helmet on, yeah, that makes sense. But on the Citadel, you will never have a helmet on. So. People away? Yes, we can. Uh, Tell your support friends. Sure, you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer. And who the heck are you? All right, let's just. I don't care about that dialogue. Bow. Here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival, Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Alrighty, so I guess we'll go to the comments now. The Persinium comments. Whew, man, I know this episode's going to be long. I might actually cut this the more I think about it. I could probably fit in just, you know what, I probably might because I could probably fit in Sakesh and also the rest of this in the next episode because, I mean, this is already like, I believe, 40 minutes long. I 
I don't, I'm not for sure, but I think it's about 40 minutes. Alright guys, yeah, I'll go ahead and cut it now. I, I really wanted to get all of this in, but the whole Leviathan thing, that was like 16 minutes of investigating. So, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this. Please like and favorite this video for me, and you guys have a nice day, and I will see you guys next time.